Guntersville gets way too much pressure. Changed my mind. What's going on? Huh. Lake Guntersville is the big bass tournament capital of the world. If you think about bass fishing tournaments, this lake right here, Lake Guntersville. Bassmaster comes here all the time. Bassmaster is located here in Birmingham, which is not too far from Lake Guntersville. So, frequent appearances, kind of like a homecoming coming back to Guntersville. So, excited to get out here this week. The fish are kind of scattered. They should be some still spawning and some in 22, 23 feet on the main river ledges. So, you know, it could be one of those tournaments where everybody gets to do their own deal and we'll just see who comes out on top at the end. So, we're running around right now fishing a lot of grass type stuff. Marked some really good grass edges over here in about six foot. So better go slow roll, a little chatter wagon through them seconds. Special. This is what I call shell. She sells seashells down by the Gunnersville shore. The other three big worms I got. Don't catch them. 130. First day of practice. I don't hit the panic button until about 130 on day two of practice. But we ain't catching jack. We ain't caught jack. Ain't had jack worth of bites. And uh, hoping jack will leave me alone. But anyways, some still spawning. Bunch of males garden fry. Shell crackers are starting to bed. Bluegills are starting to bed. So there's some fish hanging around up shallow. Very difficult to get them to bite. So we are fishing offshore. That's what we're doing right now. Let's look at how many rods Kai's out on the deck. Way too many. How many on that side? That many and that many. That many? And that many? A little ace fish. It's a fatty too. On the old Acer. All right, so fishing Spring Creek Bridge on Gunnersville right now. And I actually just got out here with my live scope, scanning around on the corner of these bridges and stuff. There's a little bit of wind coming through, so there's like some current coming through the correct way, the natural way. So I was able to find the fish kind of in the eddies and then pitch a big swim bait to them and watch them come eat it. but. No fish I could have hooked, but I did get quite a few bites on it. Sometimes I flip in a place and I'm like, that's too shallow to be a bass in there. And it's like, Doink! you know? No way a bass can be in there that doink! 
It's way too shallow for a bass. Don't. Now I don't. I, I don't know for sure. If, if it was a small stream, I don't know. Now I don't know if I can go down there and flip or not. Because if I don't find anything else at all, I'm just gonna come do this. Or, or if I go, if I go get some more bites, I might think it's actually like good. Right now, I don't think it's actually good. I just gotta catch some keepers, maybe. Hmm. Bassmaster Elite Series Pro in his natural habitat. Tying on lures. What are you tying on for tomorrow, pal? This right here is an ace jig. An ace jig. Signature series untamed tackle. Ace jig. What size is that? Half. Uh, green pumpkin. He's going to catch 37 pounds on it tomorrow on Lake Gunnerville. Cut him down pretty little. All right, guys, in line now in Scottsboro, Alabama, trying to get me a salad from Zaxby's. It's already 8 o'clock. Not going to get much sleep tonight, but it's how it goes in a rigging for a tournament day. Practice was bad, to say the least. It was absolutely terrible. I think I caught six or seven keepers all of practice, and I caught four of those today being just bare two-pounders. So don't know what to expect going out there tomorrow with an open mind and hopefully we can figure something out and catch us a big one and stay in this thing so i have no idea what to expect in this one we uh one of my worst practices of the year definitely and we'll see what happens don't know we're gonna stay shallow fished offshore a lot couldn't really find them we're gonna stay shallow hopefully catch us a bass or two tomorrow